What is up creators, it is your boy Makati here and today we're going to be creating this effect from Love, Death and Robots. In the actual show, a lot of the shots are actually locked down, but I thought it would be cooler to add some motion in. Unlike the TV show, I'm not going to actually animate the whole scene, uh, I think that's going to take too much time on top of the motion track. But once you have the basic skills, you can go ahead and do whatever you like. What I used to create this effect was Cinema 4D, Octane and After Effects. Now you can do this effect in pretty much any software as long as you're able to motion track, that's all you really need. This effect has a lot of information compact in it, so I thought it would be nice to add some timestamps so you guys can go back and check whatever you like. First step, track your footage. Once you've created a new project in Cinema 4D, you can now go into the project settings. To do this, press Ctrl D or Command D. It's important that you match the frame rate to your actual footage. If not, you're going to have some headaches later on and you're going to start crying about why it's not working. Click the footage tab and select your footage. Next step is to go into the 2D tracking tab and select auto track. This may take a minute. After that, go into the 3D solve tab, reconstruction, and then run 3D solver. Now, if you know your focal length and your camera's sensor size, feel free to drop that information in. All you have to do is change this drop down menu to known but constant. As you can see, you already have a camera and some tracking points in your scene. There is a couple ways to add a reference plane, and I'm going to show you how to do those. Option 1. Right click your motion track, motion tracker tags, and then plane a constraint. This will give you a triangle that you can line up with the tracking points from your project. When that's looking good, go into planar constraint, change the axis to Y, and then select create a plane. Option two, open up auto features and find an appropriate tracking point. Create a plane and make it a child of that tracking point. Go to your search bar and type in PSR. Click Reset PSR. You'll reset the position of your plane to the tracking point. From there, you can just edit your plane until it fits. Step two, modeling. For the modeling section, I'm just gonna show you guys how I created this very simple landscape. You can even follow along with me or you can create your own one, up to you guys. Now, you may wanna model the insides of your freezer in order to get a realistic reflection. Originally, I modeled the entire interior freezer, but I just ended up using a base plane um, and extruding it and using that instead of this whole mat, big thing that I made. However, you may need to actually adjust the cube size in order to fit it in the freezer. In order to add that ripple effect on the water, we need to subdivide the base first. Now this is probably not enough detail, so you need to subdivide again. Right click the subdivision and choose current state to object. Now we have enough detail. Add a displacer, change the height to two centimeters, change the direction to planar and the orientation to plus Y. Click the shader tab Add noise, change the noise to electric, octaves to 6, global scale to 500, and animation speed to 2. For the water material, we can create an octane specular material. Add an absorption media node and connect it to the medium tab. Add an RGB spectrum to that node and change the color to a light blue. 
For the mountains and the landscape, scale it down to fit your scene. Increase the width and depth segments to something like 700 and increase the scale to 4. For the snow texture, I just use one of the textures of Polygon, which is an awesome website, but you can also create a similar effect by just using a normal diffuse material and increasing the roughness. For the clouds, I also used a VDB volume effect by Travis David, links in the description. Now this pack is about $2, but it's very intuitive to use and it looks really realistic. In order to scale these clouds, make sure you're in object mode. Step three, lighting. My lighting setup is actually very simple. Uh, all I did was I tried to replicate the lights that were in the scene or in the place that I was shooting at. Looking at my footage, I realized there was one light directly above me, so I tried to replicate that in Cinema 4D. I also wanted to add some ambient light. To do this, I just used an Octane Daylight. I then added some geometry to use as walls to block out the light that was coming from the back. Our scene is pretty much complete and now we can start to render. Now there are a couple methods of rendering out of Octane, but I'm no pro at that so I'm going to link some videos in the description that go into more detail about how to do that and what's right for you. The only render settings you'll need to change is your alpha settings. Go into Octane settings, deselect, keep environment, and select alpha channel. Then go into your render settings, select your resolution, frame rate, and save the location. Also, check the box alpha channel. Now, if you're a dingus like me, you'll probably realize halfway through one of your renders that there's some planes that are visible. Um, yeah, so we got to fix that. To fix this, right click the walls, go to Cinema 4D Tags, and then click Octane Object Tab. From there, you can turn off camera visibility in the Visibility tab. Step four and the final step, compositing. Now this is probably going to be very easy for you if you already know how to use After Effects. Import your footage and previous render, create a new composition, and now you can start masking. Duplicate your base footage layer, and start masking parts of the foreground, i.e. the side of the freezer and the base of the freezer. If you'd like, you can also add in some fog up to, you, up to your creative decision. And bam, that's it. A really cool effect from a really cool TV show. What did you guys think of the video? Let me know in the comments below. Think you can do it better? Probably. Anyway guys, make sure that you stay tuned for more content. And as always, continue to learn, create, and share. Catch you on the next one. Peace.